Hey everybody, welcome to the final class in our four part series to help you trust yourself, get in your body and out of your mind for just 10 to 12 minutes. This is gonna be a funky little flow. We are going to get started in head to knee pose or Janushir Sasana. So you're gonna extend your left leg out to the side, take your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. You'll take a big breath in, stretch your arms upward. I want you to turn to your left leg and start to fold on down. It doesn't matter how far you go. I want you just to start to feel that stretch in your right side and of course the back of your left leg. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, walk your hands back. Take your right hand off to the right side of your hip like a little kickstand. Press that right knee down, left heel down and start to stretch your left arm upward. Exhale and slowly come back down over your left leg. We're just gonna practice that one more time. So inhale is that expansion. Right hand comes back, we're gonna lift the hip, squeeze the right glute, and fold back down over your left leg. Inhale and rise back up. We'll switch sides. So now your right leg's going to come out, left foot to the inside of your right thigh. You'll lift your arms up. So first finding that long line through the spine and then twist towards the right side. Right leg super active. Go ahead and fold down. Plug that left hip, left side down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, folds. Inhale, rise up. Then we're gonna do that little back bend. So left hand's gonna come behind you. You're gonna press into the right heel, lift your glutes, open your chest. Exhale and fold down over that right side. One more time to practice that sensation. Left hand comes down, inhale, lift your hips. Exhale and fold over your right leg. Inhale, come on up. And I'll pick you up in downward facing dog, like however, however you wanna get there. You're gonna take your hands underneath your shoulders and then um, we'll take the feet as wide as the hips, bend your knees and press your chest back to your thighs. Now start to straighten your legs, look forward and then lift your left leg high behind you. Bend your left knee, open your left hip and start to scorpion your tail. From here, we're gonna look forward. So you're gonna circle out that left hip one time. Straighten the left leg back behind you, square your hip down. Step your left foot forward between your thumbs and melt your right knee down to the ground. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, plant your hands down onto the ground. Tuck your right toes, elevate your right knee. Skandasana to the back of the house. Lower your hips all the way down. Right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Land that right hand back behind you. Inhale, open your chest, big breath in. Exhale and lower your hips down. Place your right foot down on the ground so you might need a little help there. And we're gonna glide, try to glide into that warrior two. So pressing into the right foot, you're gonna bend into that left knee and open up. Inhale, exalt your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the ground. Pick your right leg up and back behind you. Take a big breath and look forward. Exhale and fold over your left leg. Inhale, extend. Now exhale, right knee behind your left, crouch down, get low. Inhale and extend. One more time, right knee behind your left, get low. Inhale and extend. Look forward here. Exhale, bend into that left knee now. Step your right foot back behind you. Rise up, crescent lunge, reach your arms upward. Lace your hands behind your lower back. Draw the heels of your hands together so they don't even have to straighten. Some of you are gonna have enough mobility to straighten the arms. We're gonna lift out of the chest. Exhale and glide forward. And this is where it can feel like a lot of work for your left hip. You could stay right here or we're gonna launch into that warrior three. Big breath in through your nose here, release your hands, bring them to heart center and sink into chair. Like chair is the easiest part of this flow, so that's fun. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, root to rise, stretch all the way up. Exhale, hinge and fold down over your legs. Inhale's your halfway lift. Now as you exhale, we're gonna vinyasa. So you could hop back to chaturanga or step back to high plank. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, bring it all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, feet as wide as your hips to start. Lift your right leg high behind you. So we wanna prime the muscles of your right hip to open here um, before we come into that deep skandasana. So bend your right knee 
and then start to yawn your right hip open over the left. Big breath in, one big circle here. Straighten out your right leg and then square your hip back down. Bend your right knee, squeeze it into your chest for core plank and step the right toes through. Place your left knee down onto the ground. So we come into your low lunge first to start to open up the left front of your thigh. Big breath in and exhale. Now your hands are gonna come down to the ground. We're gonna tuck the left toes, elevate the left knee. You're gonna pivot and then come to the back of your mat where you can sit your hips all the way down. Take your left foot to the inside of the left thigh, left hand and left knee. And then inhale, stretch up, come into that variation of the back bend for Janyushir Sasana. Exhale and lower down. Now from here, we're gonna place that left foot down and then try to make our way forward into warrior two. So you're gonna lift the hips, bend into the right knee and stretch apart. Big breath in, huge breath out. Inhale, exalt it, stretch back. And we cartwheel the hands down to come into your standing L. Huge breath in, exhale to get a little bit more sensation. You can fold a little deeper, but keep lifting through the left glute. Inhale here. And then exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, halfway lift for support. Exhale, left knee comes behind the right. You squeeze it down. And then inhale, extend. One more time, come on down. Inhale and extend. Now from here, we're gonna look forward. You're gonna bend into that right knee and trust yourself to land the left toes behind you. Inhale, stretch your arms up, coming into that crescent lunge with a back bend, huge breath in here. Exhale, lace your hands behind your lower back sacrum area. And then we're gonna draw the heels of the hands together. So drawing shoulder blades together, really activating the muscles around the scapula. Lift your chest, lean forward, warrior three. We're gonna launch from that right side. Big breath in here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left foot comes down to meet the right, sink into your chair, big breath in and a huge breath out. Inhale, now stretch your arms upward and sink a little bit lower. Option to come into your crow for this final little burst in our flow. Hands come down to the ground, knees to the backs of your arms. You look forward. We can start to bring that left, uh, right heel up to the right glute, then maybe left heel up to the left glute. You look forward, maybe bring your knees in towards the midline as you shoot your legs back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in through your nose and a huge breath out. Inhale, left leg high. Bend your left knee, open your hips, scorpion your tail. Huge breath in here. Exhale, straighten your left leg, turn your toes down, bring your left knee into your chest, step your left toes through. And then from here, we're gonna glide all the way into Skandasana at the back of the mat. From here, instead of coming down into that back bend, we wanna lift up, maybe take the arms out wide, lace your hands and fold down. Big breath in. Huge breath out. The little finale here. We're gonna come into your ostrich pose. It's like keeping the arms bound behind you as you come into warrior two. So bending into the left knee, we're gonna press into the right foot and fold down. Working to, you'll work on bringing the shoulder blades together as you drop in here. Really kind of surrendering to sensation and what is like unknown in your body and just question yourself like, oh, what does this feel like right now? <laughs> One more inhale and a huge breath out. Push into both feet to slowly rise all the way back up. Woo, inhale, stretch your arms up, plant those hands down to the ground. You're gonna pull that left leg back behind you. We're finishing up with flipping. Um, you'll, you'll flip your downward facing dog into wild thing. So the left toes are gonna land behind you gently. We're gonna lower the hips down, inhale and stretch all the way up to open your chest and then rotate back through center, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing, exhale downward facing dog. Final flow, inhale, right leg high. 
exhale, right knee to chest, squeeze up and in, up and in, up and in, and step your right toes through. From here, we're gonna go all the way down into that skandasana towards the left side of the mat, but instead of lowering down, you're gonna stay lifted here. So some of you might be up high here, that's fine. Engage your leg, your front leg. And then from here, we'll lace the hands, draw the shoulder blades together, lift your chest. Then we bend into that right knee to come up and fold down into your humbled warrior two or ostrich pose. Big breath in, huge breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, push into both feet, rise back up. You'll reach your arm up, plant the hands down to the ground. Let's pull that right leg back, bend the right knee, open your hip, and then we flip our downward dog to wild thing. So you can bring your shoulders forward, land the right toes behind you, lower your hips down, and then inhale, push into that left hip to rise back up, open your chest. Rotate back to your three or four legged high plank and vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to reconnect with yourself. Big breath in. And a huge breath out. Look forward to your hands. Step or hop your feet forward. Lower all the way down onto your bottoms. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this series. I've had so much fun. <laughs> trying to pack a lot into our 10 to 12 minute classes. Um, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you, love you so much.